No, your eyes don't deceive you. We are here playing FIFA 18. It has been three years since this game mode came out, the 2018 FIFA World Cup game mode. And we're jumping back on it today. We got such a dope video for you guys. So these two videos absolutely blew up on my channel where we randomize the World Cup. So we're doing it a third time. And with this episode comes some discards. Yashin, Cristiano Ronaldo, and Pele will be on the line. Oh, hell no. If you guys are hyped for retro FIFA, make sure you guys leave a like on the video. Chat is here live over on Facebook, obviously. We're, we're doing pretty much every video now I record is live on Facebook. I want everyone right now watching the video, subscribe to the channel. If you guys subscribe right now, your home country is going to win the World Cup in 2022. I don't care where you're from. I don't care if you're from India. I don't care if you're from South Africa. I don't care if you're from England, man. As unrealistic as all three of those teams would be to win the World Cup, your country's going to win it if you like the video. Also, subscribe as well. Like 60% of you guys are subscribed. It's literally free. It helps the channel grow on the road to a million subscribers. Um, yeah, and you can unsubscribe whenever you want. So drop a subscription right now. Make the red button turn gray. Okay, man, here we are. Let's tell you how this is going to work. So using the randomization button at the bottom of the screen, we are going to do three separate World Cup attempts where we randomize the World Cup every time. You can see here, I'm I'm just doing this for fun, but just randomizing it. And it just, it pretty much moves any team around. They could be in any group. Like I said, three attempts. Each attempt though, we're going to get three different teams. Step one, we're going to be using Siri to get the three teams. And attempt number two, we're going to be opening packs on this account right here. And whatever player is on the front of the pack, that is one of the teams we're going to control. So again, three total packs we're going to open player on the front if i pack ronaldo we get to control portugal if i pack cavani we get to control uruguay so on and so forth three teams three packs and in the final attempt we are going to do a foot draft and the three top highest rated players that we get in this draft that's the nations that we get to control and our goal is to win the world cup with one of our teams in each attempt for every attempt that we do not win the world cup we have one discard of a random player here we have pele Ronaldo, Yashin, and a bunch of random players. So by the end of this, Pele might be out of the club. Let's see if we can hit 10,000 likes on this video. If we do, we are gonna play just retro FIFA maybe the, the, the next month or so, man, because you know, it's getting that time of year. FIFA 22 is close. Always at this time of the year, we gotta, we gotta record retro FIFA videos. We could do FIFA 14 World Cup mode. We could do FIFA 15, FIFA 16, whatever you guys want. Okay, so this is going to be attempt number one. And the first step is just to randomize the group. So here we go. One randomize, three, two, one. There it is. Boom. Argentina, Saudi Arabia, Croatia, Iran. I mean, you guys will be able to see them all right here. And now we need to three teams. And these are going to be given to us via Siri. Here's how we're going to do it. Argentina is going to be one. Saudi Arabia, two, three, four. France will be five, six, seven, eight. Brazil, 9, 10, 11, 12. You guys can see and so on and so forth till we get to group H where Korea is going to be 32. Right. You got to love Siri. Th these are the best videos when we get to use Siri. Please do me right today, Siri. Give me a number 1 to 32. That would be 31. 31. And that is us getting to control Egypt and Mo Salah. Not the best start, I'm not going to lie. Siri, give me a number 1 to 32. It's 4. Bruh. 4. All right, well, this so far is probably going to be one discard at least. Siri, give me number one to 32. It's 31. Oh my god. She literally gave us Egypt twice. Siri, give me a number one to 32. It's one. One. Okay, you know what? Yes. All right. They're in the same group, but we got Messi and Argentina. All right, man. Here we go into the World Cup. All hope is lost whatsoever for, uh, yeah. Iran, all hope is lost, probably for Egypt, but here's our chance. Oh my God, look at these old team sheets as well. Damn, they load. Okay, so the team that had just won the Copa America in real life, my, my TV has turned off, yo, hold up. Okay, right, Aguero on the bench, Iguain. Do we want to switch formations with Dybala too? I think we do. To be honest, I forget FIFA 18. What were like the OP formations back in the day? Honestly, I I maybe would rather just do this. Messi on the right, move to just, you know what? Screw it. It's my favorite formation now. It always will and forever be the 4 3 3 attack. Actually, Iguain plays over Aguero. He's higher rated in this game. But rock with this, you know, actually, to be fair, Biglia. Yeah, get, get, hold on. 
Pastore in Maturano. He is a legend, but he's got to go. There it is. That's it. That's the team. And the keeper too, man. Wow, why, none of these teams have their highest rated starting 11s in. Finally, the starting 11s is complete. That is what we're rocking with. All right, let's get through with Argentina. Oh, I forgot, dude, the old way of simulating back in the day. Okay, we're not gonna watch any of these playouts. Skip until the end. Uh, yeah, easy dub. Ah, man, I love this game mode. I forgot all this cool stuff it does in this game mode. It's so sick. All right, now I ran. Dude, EA have gone backwards in so many of the game modes. Like this, this old tournament mode, so dope. So dope, man. Look at it. I mean, obviously Iran loses, but in the tournament mode nowadays, look at this. It shows like the live standings to the group. It updates it like that. So sick, man. Why is that not still in the game? I don't understand why EA, the game progressively like gets worse. Here we go, Egypt. I mean, you know what? Egypt kind of have an easier group. Maybe they'll make it out, probably not win it. But you see, there we go. That's a good start. Just realizing now too that I didn't even I didn't even bother to set the starting 11s for Egypt or Iran. This is the big one for Argentina. Expecting a rather a rather easy win right here though. Here it is. And it oh no. Messi got injured. No. It puts Argentina through, but Messi picked up an injury. All right. Let me let me actually look at this this starting 11 here for for Iran. Right. We've set the starting 11. Mistake by me because yeah, I played their first game and they had like, not, they just had some terrible players in the starting 11. Let's see if they can get it up here. They should against Saudi Arabia, and they do. Kind of disappointing though, because it doesn't look like it's gonna be possible for both their teams to go through it. Let me set this starting 11 now. Amazing that so many of the higher rated players on this team are just like left on the bench. I don't know why they don't just have the best starting 11 starting already. This would be massive, man. I actually, I actually think they're gonna win this. I don't know why, I think we are. Let's see. Oh, okay, a draw. That it. That's what we need. I think they actually might go through with that. All right, now this one. Both of our teams. Oh, I forgot about Messi. No. How long is he out, man? Are you kidding me? Our one chance to win. Literally our one chance to win and Messi gets injured. Will it even say Messi? Let's see. Will it say anywhere how long the injury? Two months. He's out the whole competition. Oh my God, you're kidding me. Nah, bro. Nah, you can't be. This game is a troll, man. The, it, it, the game wants me to discard Pele. This is BS. This, I don't even know what needs to happen here. It, it, is there a way that both teams could go through? I guess if we draw this, and if we draw this in Croatia lost, I think Iran and Argentina go through. Please, please. Okay, oh, we just, ah, Croatia's not gonna lose though. They did, yes! Oh my God, both teams went through. And now for this one, we need Egypt to beat Senegal and Egypt goes through, oh my God, look at this. An African matchup right here, two African nations. Yes, oh my God, all of our teams are through. That's actually madness, man. Oh, let's go, come on. Knockout stage, no, Argentina, France. Okay, Iran and England in Egypt, Portugal. All three of our teams are about to lose first round. Mm, here is where it all goes downhill. <sighs> oh boy, here it is. Oh my God, yes, without Messi, we've won. Come on, boys. Let's see it. Okay, Brazil beats Denmark. What do we got here? Obviously, we ended up beating France. Next matchups, England, Iran. Chalk this one up as an L. Could you imagine though? Could you imagine we beat England? Imagine the scenes. No, yeah, that was never gonna happen, was it? Can't see the, oh, you can't see the matchups. Oh, I'm covering some matchups. All right, well, we got German. Well, you'll see in a second. Portugal, Egypt. Can Salah take down Cristiano Ronaldo probably not and I would be correct in saying that yeah so below me right here is Poland and Spain so we got Belgium going through Portugal going through Germany and then you can't see but Poland actually beat Spain and then yeah our two teams are gone this matchup's actually ridiculous though Argentina and Brazil can we do it without Lionel Messi I've not switched the starting 11s once there's no need well I guess I have taken Messi out come to an end <sighs> that's one discard let's see who wins it brazil through portugal through we got poland oh my goodness poland beat germany and the final is going to be did we get the c hello end tournament do you not does it not show you who wins it does it actually bro that's so dumb fifa man it's just it's just such a they just do so much wrong. It's it's incredible how much they mess up some of these games. Yeah, we are saving the discords for the end, but um, 
Yeah, we're gonna have at least one. So next up to decide our three teams, we have three packs to open. And we are gonna open these premium packs right here. Three of them, and remember, the player on the front is the, the nation of the player is the team that we have to choose. Here it is, pack one. Let's go with coins. Who is it going to be? Let's go. I forget how the walkouts work in this. And yes, 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 Brazil. The pack itself was trash, but we get Brazil. Let's go. Pack two, here it is. Brazil is country one, country two. Let's watch it open. Here it is, come on. It's not a walkout. Damn, dude, we're probably not going to pull anyone good. Russia. Okay, I mean, we'll take it. Not not good, but yeah, it's not really. Oh, look at this. We had two Argentinians that were the same overall, but the Russia dude was the first on the pack, so we got to go for him. Final pack, man. Brazil, Russia. Give, give me a walkout, man. Maybe, should we do the last one until it, it is a walkout. Okay, well, I was going to say wait until we get a walkout. Come on. Who is it? Spain, CDM, who is it? We get ourselves Tavi Martinez, bro. I don't want freaking Javi. All right, you will, it, it lets us control Spain, so it's fine. You know what, I, I, they shouldn't complain. I just, I wanted to pull like a sick player for the video, but is what it is, we'll take Spain. All right, so let's mark the teams that we're in control. We got Russia, we have ourselves Brazil, and this is a good one, man. And we got Spain. You guys know how it works? We have to randomize the groups as well. So here we go, three, two, one. Boom. And of course, of course, two of ours land in the same group, which probably is the group of death. And then we got Brazil in group E, which is probably one of the easiest groups of them all. all right, here it is, attempt number two. Let's get into it. Our two teams are actually starting out playing against each other. Great. Yeah, we'll rock with this for Russia. Not too much to change, but a few changes made. Nonetheless, maybe, you know what? We want to, we want a higher rated Cam in there. Mirachuk, Cherishev, Smolov. Looks good. Looks good. Looks great, actually, to me. Yeah, it actually stinks, though, because since our teams are playing each other, I can't change Spain's. It only lets me change Russia's starting 11. Another issue with this game mode, but I'll stop complaining for now. Shouldn't really matter, though. Spain should still probably win, and they do. Okay, now this Brazil team. This is the one that has the best chance to win for us. Neymar, Jesus, William, Coutinho. Bro, look at these ratings. TBT, man, when you could... Yeah, TBT to some of these like older ratings when freaking Coutinho was 88 overall. Neymar was a Neymar was a 93. That's crazy. I guess though these were these were the ratings just like players had separate ratings for FIFA 18 and then for the World Cup mode as well. I think they gave a boost to a lot of these ratings. David Luiz, oh my goodness, bro, when he back when he was actually banging in goals or no david louise is like insane world cup goal that was that was 2014 i believe oh man let's get into this one this should be it should be super easy for brazil australia they're about to get smoked here i'm predicting six nil boom four one hey gg to australia for actually scoring all right brazil again screw it let's just keep keep the winning streak going here for brazil there it is, 2-0. And now we can finally set this Spain starting 11. They got to win without us even touching it. We got to have to throw Thiago in. Let's see. Who else they got crazy on? Oh, Iniesta. Do I start Iniesta? Iniesta over Busquets, in my opinion. We got Aspie. That's probably good. I'm probably missing some stuff. But no, I think... I'm always like I'm always missing one or two players, and I, uh, the comments always let me know. England, Spain. Let's see it. This is a big one, biggest game of the group stage right here, in this perhaps group of death. Let's go, Pat. It's not coming home this time. So that uh, leaves Russia bottom. All right, every team's got a decent chance. Russia still has a chance, man. They really do. They, they, they they'll have to beat they'll have to beat this one first, and then beat England. Let's see it. Yeah, okay, never mind. Russia's done. It's all right because I, Russia. Oh, they have an injury too. Whatever. It might be a red card. Let's just auto replace it. And their, their World Cup run is coming to an end. Spain, Egypt. This is already done, right? We're, we're already through with Spain. Pretty much top in the group. And this is. Yeah, it's an easy win. Now, this one. There. Wait, is there a chance we don't make it out? I guess if Serbia beats us. If Serbia beats us, like. Um. You know what? No, we're, we're going to make it out. I, I shouldn't even need to worry about this. We're going to beat Serbia. It's not even going to matter. I shouldn't even need to question it. There it is. Okay, so Brazil tops it. There it is. 
Serbia, Morocco. Okay, cool. And our only team eliminated is Russia, and it's Brazil, England. Of course it is. Spain drew Morocco, though, which is actually a really, really good draw. Let's do this, man. Just don't let it come home. Please, 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 I'm begging. I'm begging, I'm begging, I'm begging. Don't let it come home. Yes, it's not coming home. Let's go. England fans, I promise I don't hate you. I want it to come home for you guys eventually. But when I'm, when I'm playing against you, no, it's not coming home. Spain Morocco shouldn't even have to worry about this one. Um, you'd assume Spain would just win it easily. Wow, that was actually a lot closer than it looked. Isco missed a penalty in the 81st minute too. All right, Argentina, Germany, Brazil, Belgium. Spain is gonna, uh, you can't see it, but Spain got drawn against Switzerland. Oh, Spain, does Spain have a card? Oh no, it's Miranda with an injury. Oh, for a boy Marquinhos in, and we already have the Louise in the bench. Uh, we'll throw Alves. Should Alves be starting? Yo, Alves should be starting. What am I doing? I'm right, on Brazil, Belgium, the toughest match yet. Come on, please. I don't want to have to have two discards. I really don't. Come on, man. Come on. Oh. <sighs> Spain, man, you're our only hope. If I go this entire video without winning the World Cup once, I'm gonna be pissed. This could be tough too, because Shakiri is a beasting in this competition. Oh no, man. Watch Shakiri get like a hat trick or something, please. Yes! Oh my god, we're throwing pens. Let's go. On to the semifinals, boys gets in. Let's go. Spain, and we have Poland. Oh my God, that's actually perfect. And it's Germany in the final. One man to beat, literally one man to beat. And his name is Robert Lewandowski. Will it be done here, boys? Come on, let's go. No! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Why? Why, bro? I'm cursed. No, that's actually so dumb, man. Poland. Oh, and, and of course, are we, are we even gonna get this third place? I have to sim this stupid third place game. Ugh, we don't even win that. Of course we don't. We get to see the winner of the World Cup. Please. Please. Why? Why, bro? Finish the competition. I don't understand this game. I really don't. Well, we'll never know who gets to win the final between Germany and Poland. All right. On to attempt three, boys. All right. So the, the foot draft is this next attempt. And we are going to make this... We're going to make it so that we have to get chemistry, right? So the idea is the top three rated players that we pull from this foot draft, we get to control their nationality. But if we do not get 100 chemistry, then we have to control the three worst teams in the tournament. So I need to get 100 chemistry to then get the right to control the three nations of the highest rated players. But again, if we don't get 100 chemistry then we are going to be stuck with, yes, that is right, the three worst nations in the World Cup. All right, so we got to choose a formation that is going to let us squad build easily. So, oh my God, I'm not going to lie. All of these are terrible for squad building. To be fair, this is probably the best. The 4-4-1-1. Pick one is Cristiano Ronaldo. I, I'd love to control Portugal, so we'll take him. The chemistry works a little bit different in these foot drafts than others. Because you got to choose, like, so basically with this one, we'd want to just go with players from, from Europe to link with Ronaldo. It actually should be really easy to get a full cam because, okay, well, hey, Jensen. You, I mean, you just got to choose players from the same continent. All right, center forward. Can we get some icons in here, maybe? Griezmann was 95 rated. We're definitely taking him. And at this moment, we get France and Portugal. This is the one, boys. All right. Cruz, Madrid, dudes. Okay, this is, a, this is an interesting one, right? Do I, Modric is sick, right? But do I really want to control Croatia? Ugh, this is where I can kind of like pick and choose almost. I think I'd rather take Cruz because then we get Germany. I like that. I really, I really like that. We kind of get to pick and choose a little bit. Throw Thomas Muller in there as well. Left back, we, I mean, look at how many players there are in here. Um, call her off, I guess. Trying to think of another nation that I maybe want to control. But there's not too many others like we have we have three of the best nations right now and you know we've kind of i mean england maybe i don't know i'd like maybe i'd like to control england we've already controlled argentina we've already controlled brazil like i don't we don't really need to control them again goalkeeper courtois Ooh, if we take courtois we get belgium over germany i actually mm, nah no 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 i think i want germany over I think I want Germany over Belgium. We're going to take, I'm taking Joe Hart. So all he needs is a right back and we got 100 cam on this team. Q 
here in chip year, man. All right, so I will finish the foot draft because who knows, maybe I get a higher rated player in a nation that I'd rather have. Hey, the icons. We could just take them now too. It doesn't even matter. Deco. Ooh, again, I'd go for Modric, but I don't really want to do that, man. Okay, so if I go for Neymar, we get to control Brazil again, man. Oh, name of course Neymar pops up. So then it would be France, Portugal, and Brazil. I want Germany. I still want Germany. So I'm taking I'm taking Di Maria. This game is just it <laughs> Oh, this is this is where I'm gonna regret not taking Messi or Neymar or Modric, because either Croatia, Brazil, or Argentina is gonna win it. I'm pa I can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm passing up on Messi. Bobby Moore, what a legend! Do I have to pass up on Bobby Moore? Would I rather England or Germany? England or Germany? England or Germany? I have, dude, I want Germany. I'm sorry. Oh my God, dude. I'm passing up on all these sick players. Oh my God, bros. It's not even about the foot draft at this point. It's just about the players that I have to control. <laughs> Dudes, I'm actually about to no, take no, Mignolet no, no. over Pele. <laughs> I can't believe I've just done that, man. Oh my God, R9! <laughs> You guys probably hate me right now. Oh my god, this would have been one of the sickest foot drafts ever. Get me out of this foot draft. I'm done with this. I'll just give me my three nations and let me go. Dude, imagine if I just would have taken the highest rated players. That's not how this works. Oh my god. Right. I hope you guys understood right there that that foot draft literally meant nothing whatsoever. Like, the, what, the rating that I got, the, the players did matter, but they only mattered for their nationalities. So we get to control Portugal control germany and we get to control france that's i got the players that i wanted to get people are gonna be so mad like b4 oh my god why did you not take pele like first off i am i'm never gonna play that foot draft whether i got pele or not i was never gonna take it i was never gonna play the draft it's, it's all about the teams man and i wanted i wanted germany over brazil i wanted the date i wanted these nations here we go let the oh, imagine our teams get randomized in the same group please please don't let that happen Okay, yes, we're all in different groups, perfect. If there's one nation that I wish I would have rather switched out, it would have been Portugal. I think I would have preferred, I would have preferred like England. I would have preferred England over Portugal. I would have pre preferred Brazil over Portugal, but I got Ronaldo first and we took him and it, it is what it is. All right, man, here we go. Let's get in to game one. That is the, uh, the starting 11 that we're gonna be rocking with for Portugal, their group has England. All right. All right. I mean, we'll see what happens here. We should we should be able to beat England though. I mean, we should be able to beat Panama. There it is. Good start. Guedes though with an injury. How about Germany? Germany is the one that I'm banking on. We need Germany to win. I, I've i skipped Brazil for Germany. I skipped England for Germany. I skipped a lot of... I skipped Belgium for Germany. I, I wanted this team really bad. A lot of sick players on this team too, man. All right. Let's rock with it. Draxler, Muller, Cruz, Kadira, Boateng, Hummels, Hector, Kimmich. There we go. Sim in the match. Germany. They they had a pretty easy, easy group too for the most part, right? Wait, I actually didn't even see their group. We won 3-0 against Austria. Yeah, okay. We got a really easy group. France, Iceland, match one. So Griezmann is 95 in foot draft, but 89 in here. Okay. I forget like everything about this game mode. FIFA 18 just feels like so long ago. Kossielny, man. Oh, I forgot how much of a beast Kossielny was. He doesn't fit into the starting 11. He was such a sick player. All right. Um, it, it, This starting level will, will be fine. You know, we don't have, we actually do not have a striker on the bench. So let's throw Lacazette in there. Pretty easy group for the most part. I mean, Uruguay thrown in there, but Uruguay usually isn't too big of a concern. Oh man, Iceland almost getting a dub there. Just trying to get these groups done rapid. Oh wait, oh, Guedes. Oh, I forgot about that Guedes injury. Throw oh, Bruno on the bench, man. Kind of forgot about Bruno in there. Portugal, Costa Rica. The score is four and another injury, man. What is happening? All right, Germany, Sweden. Portugal with their two wins should be through. I actually think all of our teams are gonna win every game. Yeah, there it is. Another win, Germany. Top of the group pretty easily now. France and Morocco. The winner is France. It is, boys. England, Portugal. Yes, let's go. We've won every game. And the last one, Iran against Germany. Oh, my God. Wow, Germany. The only team to drop points in a game out of all of our three. Actually, wait. No, I forgot. We have. We got one more. I'm getting ahead of myself. We got one more with France. It is another tough one, too. So this one could be some dropped points. No, actually not. What a... What a win. All right, let's see 
the matchups, Portugal, Croatia. We have ourselves uh, Germany and Mexico, and then you can't see it. I gotta start moving my face around a little bit. Here we go. Whoop. There it is, France and Japan. So France and Germany are probably gonna be playing each other. Great. Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> oh, I already know Croatia's gonna win because I, I had the chance to control Croatia and I passed them on Modric so many times. Yes, okay, we've beaten them, let's go. All right, let's go, Brazil. Oh, it's gonna be Brazil, Portugal. I'm gonna lose to Brazil. I already know it, I already freaking know it. Belgium through, Colombia through. Let's see, Denmark is through, and Spain beats Uruguay. Germany, Mexico, this is, uh, do we have another? What's happening here? Hector, the red card. That's actually not that bad, Hector's fine. We can replace him easily. Germany against Mexico, here it is. I don't know what kind of accent this is, but it's a win, and then France. And, dude, oh my god, so many injuries. So, Conte, what are you doing getting... Conte, bro, we need you, man. Just replace it for that match. Bro, what are you doing, Conte? All right, imagine imagine an L here. Oh my god. So freaking close. Dembele with a game winner in the 56th minute. Here it is. All right, so Germany does have to play France. It is a bit unlucky. Portugal has to play Brazil. That's also unlucky. Another red card, man. Oh my god, dude. Too many freaking red cards. I guess... I'd rather play Moutinho. I mean, Bruno. If it was FIFA 21, I'd play Bruno, but he's only 81 overall. Come on, lads. Let's see it. I accidentally put him on that. Here we go. Screw it. Sim it. God. Please. Please. God. One team down, and we're going to have only one team left after this because France and Germany play each other. Yeah, this is just stupid. It's a lose-lose situation right here, man. I don't know who I'd, I don't know who I'd rather want, to be honest. It's France. All right. Please say Colombia beat Belgium. Oh, they didn't. Of course they didn't. Brazil in the final. Denmark third place. All right. This is it. Oh, man. Belgium's another team that we had the chance. We could have taken Courtois and we didn't. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Three discards. I am... Dude, if I have to discard Pele... I am gonna be so pissed, man. This is just stupid at this point. Third place game. And then again, we don't even get to see the... We lose to Den... It didn't matter, but we lost to Denmark. And then, of course, FIFA, the, the, the dumb game that it is. I don't even get to see who wins the, the freaking World Cup, bro. This is stupid. L -l 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 L's. L's in the chat. Let's get into these discards, boys. So here's how we are gonna do this. I'm gonna take the players and I'm gonna just I'm gonna slot them in randomly. We're gonna we're gonna use Siri yet again. All right, so we're gonna get three numbers, one through eleven. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh man, I don't want to have to. I actually I really don't have to discard Ronaldo. I'm I'll try if I remember to put the clip in of me packing him live on stream back like years ago when probably none of you used to watch me let's just do this here we go player one siri give me a number one through eleven it's five. One, two, three, four. no no, no. siri no dude literally i packed this man dude come on bro Oh my, no, I don't want to do it, bro. I have to discard Ronaldo. Stop it. It's gone. No, I can't believe I just did that. I hate, I hate this, I hate this. Siri, give me a number one through 11. That would be nine. Nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, yeah. No. No! I'm so done with this, bro. I'm actually I'm actually done with this. Why? 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 You cannot make this up. Oh my No, bro. I'm discarding Pele now. Oh my god. This is so dumb. This is actually so I I I've just had to discard two of the highest rated players in the game. I swear to God, if you say three here, Siri, give me a number one to 11. That would be three. I'm road to shawing this chair, bro. I don't even freaking care, bro. Give me, oh my God. 
Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm so done. I'm I'm actually so done with this man. Three numbers and she chooses. <sighs> bro, F this, man. I'm not even doing an outro, bro. F this.